Speaking of fans voting, this yeah. is pretty neat. Okay, golf needed to find a way to get the fans more interactive because you can't really you know, use social media while you're on the course. You can't take pictures or video. So this is their way of getting the fans more involved. They're going to allow fans to vote for their favorite pin placement on the 15th hole at the PGA Championship. And they've given you a few choices to pick from on their website. So we're going to show you the choices. There's four here. Of course, one is in between two hazards. Another one's a little bit farther back. Then one's more towards the water hazard. And D is sort of just like all the way back on the left corner. Yeah, C is all the way all the way back. Now, part of it is you can't see the undulation of the green. You know, like where right, on the green right. feeds the water? Where on the green feeds the sand? Where in the green is there a false front in it? I would say though C because you're tucked behind, because it's all the way back in the water. So the water protects it in terms, you know, going for it. I, look, I, it would it'd have to depend on what, you know, does the green feed back there? So if I hit it, you know, middle of the green and I miss the bunker, does it roll all the way back? But I would, I would take C based upon this diagram if I was voting. See, I would vote for A because you have two challenges. It's right in between the left bunker and the water. So I want to see how they, you know, how they play that and, and who has, you know, the good enough skill set to get it right in between there, not too far to the right, not too far to the left. Um, if they hit a little bit deep, I don't really care, but I'd rather see them deal with two hazards instead of just one. Yeah, it's amazing how good those guys are out of the sand. Sometimes on certain holes, they actually shoot for the sand. You're right. But in that case, you're right because you couldn't, you know, chunk it. You couldn't be long out of the sand because if you are, you go into the water. Uh, but some, yeah, th those guys, those guys out of the sand are remarkable because you know, when an average duffer gets in the sand, you're like, look, you're done. I don't know where this thing's gonna go. <laughs> it could be perfect. It could be still in the sand, or it could be 50 yards behind you. <laughs> Everybody heads up. But those guys are remarkable with their sand saves.